Hey everyone, Depressed ER here with more uh, Langrisser Mobile Apex Season 4. Um, this is actually recorded on the same weekend as the previous video, um, because I've been rushing to try to get the Gold 3. Um, it's been a little bit of back and forth. Overall, I, I do enjoy playing with this box. It's actually pretty good. It has some weaknesses, as always. There's just I, I mean, I have the, the usual limitations, no Juggler, no Landius. Um, but uh, MVP for this weekend... <laughs> And probably for the rest of season four is is going to be Angelina. Um, she's not technically an assassin, but I practically use her as an assassin. Um, bad news is if you go against an opponent that knows how uh, Angelina works, it and it happens to be against someone that's also throwing out a lot of assassins, it ends up being a very very boring game where you're kind of just sitting on the edges of the of your of everyone's attack range, waiting for the poison mist to screw somebody over. Um, so yeah, um, there was a few good matches that where I, I did lose, but finding those on, amongst the list of my matches was going to be a little bit too annoying, um, to say the least. That being said, um, we're going to go ahead and dive right into this. I think right now this one is still silver too, um, so it is what it is. Um, no juggler, surprisingly. Um, it, I, I mean, kudos for any opponent that doesn't use Landius or juggler. It's always something that, that's always refreshing. Then again, Leaden's also kind of a pain. But um, since there was no juggler, I banned uh, Leonhardt. I haven't actually seen a lot of Leonhardts lately. Uh, a lot, of, a lot less Leonhardts, a lot less um, Joshuas. Um, most of the most things I usually see as assassins are characters that um, were kind of converted into assassins, like Cherry. Now, because the the new like mounted assassin unit, those Goblin Riders or whatever they're called, um, does offer does kind of allow you opportunities to turn characters like Matthew and Sherry into um, into assassin types, which is kind of interesting. Um, I don't think I will do that with my Sherry, but mainly because my goblin forces are not, my goblin troops are not built up yet. But um, yeah, it's good to know at least the options there. I mean, gr granted they don't compare to people like um, Zerida or anything like that, but it is what it is. Anyway, sorry for the rambling. So. Usual things, uh, they banned my, um, my, my Listel. Um, I actually got a little bit of Listel play this uh, past few days, which is kind of nice. Um, they of course went with Landius, so I took care of their Tiaris and their Zerida. Um, a lot, this box didn't actually have a lot of major threats, so that kind of gave me a little flexibility as far as who I banned. Um, they banned my heal two of my healers, so I went ahead and grabbed Sophia, I believe. Oh, actually, this person only had two healers in their box. Um, I was tempted to ban both of them, but I was kind of concerned of shenanigans involving like high mobility killer types. So I only banned uh, the the worst of the two, which was TRs for me, since TRs, you know, after every combat heals people and stuff like that. Um, and I figured if I banned one of his two healers, it would force this person to uh, pick the other healer and give me more opportunities to ban everything else. So that's kind of what I went for. Anyway, got Sophia out. Uh, Luna, I really have to remember to not let him get... Whenever there's Landius, I should not let a Luna come into play. Luna, uh, also, if, it, if there's any sort of groups that are doing a lot of assassins, don't let them have Luna, because Luna gives them extra mobility. Um, that's a mistake I made a few times as well. Right at my Luna. Um, I'm also usually surprised when someone else uses an Archer Luna, because I know... Everyone favors the flyer one because that one can actually kill tanks uh, in most cases. That and the fact that spear uh, that can debuffs, that can silence and uh, heal negates pretty powerful. So yeah, uh, <laughs> let me have pretty much all my high mobility characters, um, which was kind of crazy. I don't know what what they were hoping with that, but yeah, uh, they let me have my Clarets. They let me have my uh, my Angelina. I have my Freya here. Of course, got Luna and Sophia. This is kind of like the wombo combo of like rushing down type situations because I can literally do everything I need to do and then I can rewind on top of that. Um, nothing too fantastic. Uh, it's a standard Matthew flyer. Um, air slash, sword of destruction, gale. Pretty standard. Uh, standard. Standard Ellen with no faction buff. Oh yeah, I remember this fight. Okay, this fact. This fight was weird. Um, he brought only. Or he or she, I, Xavier. I'm assuming it's a male. Um, 
only Landia has a faction buff. Um, Matthew didn't bring his own faction buff. Elwyn didn't bring his own. Luna didn't bring his own. I mean, granted, it's inefficient to bring so many faction buffs just for yourself. But having no buff buffs whatsoever, um, not that great. All right. As always, I if I have Claret, I always move her first by not moving, so I can expand her range. Sword of Destruction creates a duplicate Matthew. Yeah, pretty standard stuff. I've, uh, throughout the pl uh, my battles and stuff, like I mentioned before, I, I picked. I, I've been focusing on Freya, so I can always ensure I have a faction buff. But they've actually a lot of my fights have been allowing me to have faction buffs uh, from the uh, either Luna or Shafaniel, um, which has actually been making things a lot easier for me because it's more powerful than uh, Estelle's buff. Anyway, sorry for all the rambling. There's just a lot to talk about for season four, I guess. So yeah, they clumped up. Made everything pretty perfect here. So, I don't know what it is, but sometimes I can't push Landius, and it seems to happen pretty often. Um, so I usually try to take advantage of that. Um, another thing I, I, I've been failing to notice about Landius is I think he has a unique item um, that makes it so anyone that's within two spaces of them can't do move of move again effects now it does it still lets you do act again effects so this is why Angelina's, Angelina is able to do what she's doing but um situations like um you know move again here literally the name from Luna if if she was within two spaces of Landius and attacked she wouldn't be able to do the move again um and I've been failing to notice it because it usually only applies to only I think two of my characters now. Uh, it only applies to Luna and it applies to um, uh, Lifany. Uh, it technically also it'll apply to anyone that has the Meteor faction buff, but I don't get that up that often. So, I managed to freeze Landius, so even though I didn't move him, um, he can't guard, so I just cleaned up there. So Duplicate Matthew has Air Slash, and I think he has that AoE Slash that removes healing or something like that. There you go. So, dreaded units, not a big deal, because now I can move straight in with uh, Claret right behind him. Clean up with this. Went with Roar just to kind of reduce the counterattack damage a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and take out the summon because I don't want to deal with this healing negation. Went ahead and healed Claret to full just to kind of give her a little bit of defense, as well as the defense buff from Sophia's passive. Softened him up a bit, but it wasn't enough to get a kill. But I mainly just did this weaken him and then pull back so he's in guard range. I did a little bit of shuffling because my um my buff or uh, my guard buff went down, so I wanted to make sure everyone was covered. At this point I have the numbers advantage. He moved forward and just as his buff wore off, so I went and took advantage of that and just took out his healer. I think he gives up at this point because he didn't get kill. Oh no, never mind, he got Gale. Yep. I'm winning the unit trade at this point, so I'm pretty safe. And I'm reapplying my buff. Yeah, 
Yeah, move just stay outside his range. Since he, ha since he has no healer, I can just gradually wear him down. And my tank is better than his tank when it comes to one on ones. And dead. Yep. Alright. Be right back. Okay. Uh, so this guy actually. Like, his name makes me think he's a bot, but he's not a bot. I don't think there's bots in Apex. Um, and I've run into him, I actually have ran into him a couple of times in, uh, while I was doing my rush for uh, Guild 3. Um, actually does have a Joshua. Um, also has Yusuke and uh, Hiei there. A uh, little bit of a heavy bit of assassin assassins here. Um, went ahead and banned Juggler because Juggler is awful. Uh, anything else of note? Uh, does have a three healer plus D-Lit set up. Uh, no Rachel. Yeah, kind of just a mixture of a lot of assassins and uh, rush down, I guess. And ban my Zerida, not surprised. Take care of their high mobility. Pretty much Claret is one of the few that can probably take on Freya, so... And of course Zerida for assassination reasons. Go ahead and grab Joshua, which means they have a time faction buff. So I went ahead and banned both their uh, Yu Yu Hakusho characters. For some reason I keep thinking my Luna is immune to uh, fixed damage, but she doesn't actually have that accessory equipped. But um, I got my Princess Faction buff, they left me with my Angelina, so I grabbed my Angelina. Remember that they got rid of Luna. I forgot that, well I didn't forget, but there was not much I could do about it, but Deedly could be buffed by um, Joshua's Time Faction buff unfortunately, there's not much I can do about it. All I did for uh, the healers was just make sure he didn't get TRS. Alright. Um, nothing too special here. I bet I'm still using the, the three cost skill for uh, Rachel here. It's, it tends to be pretty flexible. It's also generally got pretty good range, so it can. So even if it only hits one thing, it'll at least proc her um, Arcane Vessel passive. Uh, I did take uh, Freya's Iron Rose just in case, uh, mainly just to deal with Deedlet, just in, um, though deal is, I mean, get, yeah, Deedlet, sorry about that, clicked off the screen by accident. Alright, so, um, the only thing I was worried about for uh, Deedlet is the fact, one, she's magic damage, and she, while her troops are, are calf, her, um, her actual base class is Swordsman, which would wreck Freya. So that's why I went ahead and grabbed Iron Rose, just in case. Um, also, that's why I picked Luna over Stefaniel usually, is just for the extra magic, reduce, magic damage decrease. Alright, I think that's kind of everything. Oh, I didn't even go over their characters, there's not too much to note. Landius is Landius, as usual, no, no attack abilities, so he doesn't have Rout. Liana didn't go AoE heal when he went gospel, probably the counteract any potential freezing, and as well as probably the counteract the uh, runic void. Uh, Bozel, sleep with AoEs, no self buff. So all he wants to do is just apply debuffs, um, which I see a lot more often. He seems to just be. He doesn't, he, his da I mean, his damage isn't too bad even without the faction buff, but you don't usually have to worry about him killing anything, even with his single targets. Uh, Joshua, time buff with all his standard AoEs. Uh, and that's about it. Uh, Deedlet's going to be able to self buff. Actually, she grabbed... Oh, she's going to... Oh, I see what she's going to do. Uh, Gossipal's for Bozel, and then a Gossipal for um, probably Landius just for the debuff negation. So they're, they're pretty covered as far as buffs are concerned. Alright, applying buffs. Throughout this entire fight, I was counting range for Joshua as well as the range for Bozel. I wasn't too worried about, like I mentioned, I wasn't too worried about Bozel. I can, with Rachel, I can remove the, the 
debuffs pretty easily. So, attack blessing on uh, Angelina just for the extra pump. Since she doesn't have any sort of single target attacks to follow up with, um, the extra buff is always useful. Alright, buffs are all applied. Lanius is tanking up. And I'm well in position here to go ahead and hit three targets, so I went ahead and did so. I actually avoided Landius entirely, that way I could push them all away from uh, their tank. And then I went ahead and took out the healer. With the Ragnarok, I usually don't have to worry about um, the Shrine Maidens. It sometimes, you never know, they might actually have fixed immune. Surprisingly, didn't take that much damage from, uh... I mean, I think Angelina has last rights, but I don't... I thought that only worked against physical, but I don't remember. So, poked away. Pretty much forced them to take actions to deal with Angelina. Which allowed me to kind of push in, kind of apply my buffs that I needed to. Went ahead and uh, actually sought to uh, go ahead and deal with Landius as best as I could. Thankfully, Thorns uh, didn't proc. That's pretty much the thing I hate the most is Landius with Thorns, which I'm pretty sure every single one has Thorns. See miracles. It's gonna do an extra action because of passive. But with Iron Rose, I don't have to worry too much about her. Yeah, just doesn't do enough. Heal up. My barbs don't do as much because of Iron Rose buffing my defense, but it still did some decent damage. In any case, their Joshua was open, so I went ahead and pushed them off. That was kind of the biggest threat, so I'm kind of safe at this point. So going for Black Hole here. Luckily, I'm still immune to debuffs with um, Gospel. So, Runic Void. This is mainly just so I can heal everybody and remove debuffs. I'm not really concerned about buying anything. Silence was just kind of icing it. There's not really any point for the Silence because I think she's used all of her abilities already. My Luna's trapped, but I don't care. Uh, Landius has already used his self res, so I finish him off with uh, Tiaris. That's usually why I bring her with Sorceresses, just so I can have an extra hit just, just in case. So, more AoE. Rachel barely survives. Uh, Puzzle is actually fixed in here. Alright. Finish off Deedlet. Again, this is mainly just so I can heal everybody else and remove debuffs. Soften them up a little bit more just in case, because my is not at full health. Apply attack, attack blessing just in case. He didn't even let me finish. <laughs> Uh, at this point, I've kind of been going back and forth. I've uh, been like winning two matches, and I lose two matches. And I, I didn't actually de-rank at any uh, at any point, but I did proc my rank protection a few times, which kind of scared me. Um, I, I did take a, a brief look at uh, the matches I lost, but in most cases, it was either like I mentioned before, either just a really bad mistake, that either due to ignorance or just me being stupid, and that just usually just brings everything downhill. Or it's just I got flat out outplayed and maybe got wrecked in the band pick phase or something along those lines. So honestly, I just don't find them that interesting the show too often. Anyway, they have a juggler, so I banned the juggler. Uh, nothing. They have a Rene, a Reen, how you should pronounce it. Um, other than that, uh, kind of a mix of dark and. Yellis, I guess. Uh, they actually went with, uh, they didn't pick a tank 
Uh, so I banned it. I went ahead and banned their other tank. Um, they did first pick Listel, which is a bit annoying. Uh, which means this is going to be a straight out kind of sl slugfest for them. But uh, I did get my Princess Faction buff, um, and I got, and they let me have Angelina, so I grabbed Angelina, of course. They did take a healer; they just don't have a tank. Uh, went ahead and took Sophia as my healer. So yeah. Hey, went in double healers, but no tanks. So, uh, same thing as usual for Rachel, uh, Sophia's full heal, uh, Freya went and went with heavy shield, mainly just to deal with Sherry, just think, uh, since she's the only melee that's a threat. Uh, standard Iris with teleports, uh, Liana with no single target heal but has gospel instead. Sherry all in on attack abilities, including her 3 cost, uh, Lestelle's uh, no, uh, no magic defense down ability, but instead has seal, and then usual blood dance reaper combo. And Bozel has a self faction buff. Well, actually, it's it's the buff style, but uh, faction buff with uh, sleep and earthquake. All right, pretty standard. So my original goal uh, at the start of this was actually is. Since they had two healers and then the rest is just raw DPS, I just wanted to kill. If I killed like either Sherry or Bozal, that would significantly reduce their chances of uh, actually being able to finish me off. Um, obviously, Lestelle's an issue because her range for, for Reaper's touch is four, and she moves four, and there's a teleporter, so and an act again. Um, so I I positioned Sophie Sophia and put ways to try to prevent that as best as possible. The good thing about Sophia is she doesn't really have any passive heals, uh, which is usually a bad thing, but against something like Listel, uh, it's actually kind of good, because it means I don't have to worry about her accidentally killing my own party. So I actually moved into attack range with Angelina as my last move, because all, all they had left was their Iris as their last move, so I moved in. Uh, this was just to ensure I had maximum range for my um, my AOE, and uh, let's see how that plays out. As usual, tidal surge. Even though I didn't need the extra movement, but for the the freeze potential, hit four targets, so I get my extra action, and I freeze their um uh, their Liana. Uh, the moment that Liana got frozen in poison mist, I had my plan changed, and I immediately took out both their healers. Uh, so I took out their I took their out their iris the physical attacks. Um, the only person that can remove the freeze is a healer essentially or anyone with dispel. Um, so what's going to end up happening is once it hits Leona's turn, she's going to break the freeze, self heal from uh, Iris's little buff, and then die immediately from the poison mist. Uh, now this is actually really good because even though it stunned Angelina, um, it. it it made the uh, the raging storm have about a five turn cooldown now, so I don't really need to worry about it. And I went ahead and used Rachel to kind of use her passive heal and passive dispel to kind of remove the effects from the um, the blood dance that uh, Leon uh, not Leona Listel did. Um, I was definitely doing math. Uh, a safe thing to do as far as math is concerned is take her HP and half it. And that's how much damage you're going to take to your HP. Um, so in her case, it's about sev over 7,500 damage, um, which Rachel can tank just barely. It does do some initial damage as well on top of it. It does uh, 0.1 times AoE damage, um, which may essentially you can add maybe another 1,000 on top of it, and that'll probably be pretty accurate, or maybe another 500. Yeah, I, I tried attacking Lestelle. I wasn't smart. <laughs> With the fixed immune. Yeah, so once I took out both the healers, they had to use both their attackers just to take out Angelina. And uh, 
I pretty much wore down at Lestelle at this point, and since she doesn't have any heat, we don't they don't have any heals active for Lestelle. Her blood dance is just gonna get weaker and weaker. Um, she tried to use this as an opportunity to kind of fall back and try to um, regroup. I went ahead and followed with uh, Shafaniel because everything else is completely out of range. Um, so with that, I would just you know keep keep pelting away at her, just wear her down. So yeah, even though Runic Void itself won't do any damage, to, uh, the, the dots won't do any damage to uh, Lestelle, it's, I'm just going to keep wearing her down. Um, I use Rewind here just so I can reapply the, uh, the guard buff, because it was going to wear off that turn. So there's usually a turn where you don't have access to it. Uh, the Rewind takes care of that cooldown. So. At this point, they kind of regrouped. But my Runic Void actually uh, clocked, so I went ahead and just used it again. Even if I, even if I hadn't got it clocked, I would have just killed the style at that point. So lightning speed doesn't apply a stun, so I'm not too worried about it. Doesn't really matter, because. <laughs> Yeah, physical attackers without fixed immune against Freya is just asking to be just skewered. Alright, a familiar face. This is actually the same Professor 436 as before. So, pretty much same stuff. I don't think he changed his box any. So, Banda ran their uh, juggler. I usually kind of feel a little bad fighting someone again, because it's either I beat them again, in which case I'm like, oh, that's, that's not right, forcing me to fight the same person again, them losing again. Or, you know, I lose, and they're like, alright, well, they learned my moves, <laughs> so... Just either way, it doesn't feel it doesn't feel great. There's actually a... there is a new Apex map that's like a, a snowy, icy area with a frozen lake in the middle or something like that. Um, I, I think I had it twice, and I think both times I lost. <laughs> uh, the one of the times I did lose, it was... Um, I used Lestelle's blood. Uh, I was preparing to use blood, uh, blood dance with Lestelle, and uh, their Chloe uh, had already used their, uh, their her uh, her fancy little special skill. Uh, but what she ended up doing was she moved up uh, next to every uh, her other three uh, partners, or and uh, her passive is she applies a random immunity to uh, everyone around her. And the random immunity that she gave to all three of them was fixed. It was fixed immunity. And so I was not very happy about that luck. I mean, I've had my own share of crazy luck, so it's not the worst, but it still didn't feel great. All right. So yeah, fighting this guy again. Um, he actually puts up a really good fight here, so that's why I don't feel so bad about showing showing this match. Because um, it's 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 a it was it was pretty brutal. Uh, Liana single target heal gospel. Uh, Joshua is using all his AoEs, uh, mainly because I forgot that Luna can buff Joshua. I forget, I keep, I always forget that Joshua's princess, all because of his weird other skin where he can, where he wears a dress. Um, Luna, of course, st uh, pretty much just like my Luna, except uh, instead of move again, he has uh, Gale. Mosul has faction buff. Black Hole Sleep, usual stuff, Landius as usual. Alright, uh, nothing too special here. I am using Protect instead of Heavy Shield, uh, just so I can give a little bit of physical resistance against Joshua. Um, other than that, and I guess that and Luna, I guess. Uh, they let me have my Langelina. I have my Lifany. Uh, we don't usually get to see her too often. Um, using Acid Burns, all that stuff, usual stuff. Yeah, yep, pretty much standard. The only thing I was a little concerned about was the fact I didn't really bring an additional AoE heal with Tiaris, instead I went with Attack Blessing, um, and that's, my opponent is pretty AoE inclined at this point. So just like before, I'm counting spaces, because uh, I'm not concerned about Bozel too much, but I'm definitely concerned about Joshua's uh, line-based AoE that just can shred, just ass assassinate a caster if you're not careful. If you're fixed to me, it's not as big of a deal. Alright, pretty standard stuff. Go ahead and got Attack Blessing up and running. 
Or, uh, but Liana actually stood back, which is kind of impressive. I did this so I can hit all four. I was actually thrown off a little bit here, um, because I'm so used to um, Landius uh, not being pushed back. Uh, I was a little bit shocked by that happening. Also, I got two freeze procs, which was nice. Um, I think a, th a thing I could have done that would have been maybe slightly better uh, would have been maybe to point it downwards and push Landius just completely out of position. Uh, but I don't know if Landius is immune to being pushed or not. Um, I don't know. I don't know what item allows him to do that, or if there's a, a buff that happens that I haven't been paying attention to. Um, but I went ahead and just hit as many targets as possible and hoped I got procs, which I got two out of four, which with a 20% chance is not bad at all. So, it's his turn, he went ahead and faction, he went ahead and guard buffed at this point. I'm trying to move up here because Angelina is kind of out of position now. Went ahead and used Acid Burns just so I can apply. Um, I was planning on using Heal Negation, but I forgot two of the characters are practically me at D bus right now. But again, I managed to get a plant a bomb on Liana, so she's kind of hurting right now. Force Bozal to go sleep. I think I should have. Um, I should. I think when I had the opportunity, I should have attacked with um, Angelina it's, uh, before all that happened. Because uh, I think she still had her attack blessing active. I could have used that to try to finish off Liana using fixed damage, but it's all right. So it's tank acted. I'm not surprised. Go ahead and use Magic Vortex. Guarantee that Liana is gonna have a bomb on her. Yeah, it gets pretty ugly here because we're kind of just blowing each other up with AoEs and all this nonsense. Uh, I cast Heal on um, Luna here to try to remove the, um, the Heal Negation debuff that got applied. Like I said, it gets pretty ugly. I took out the healer. Uh, the big issue here, though, is my my um, my guard buff is gonna wear off, and some I have to I won't be able to guard everyone this round. So I went ahead and just went on the offense, try to wear down Landius. He's not fixed immune. Okay, so at this point, my guard buff wore off. They went ahead and took out my healer. This is what we got. But the good news is that put her within range of uh, my Lana, and my Archer Lana can wreck their their Flyer Lana easily. Um, my uh, my Freya doesn't actually have any um, magic card right now, so that's why Bozo got a free hit there. So yeah, two on two. But I kind of have the advantage simply because I can I negate thirty percent of his uh, damage. That's why I was pretty comfortable about attacking him in uh, within range. Simply just stay in within the the guard tower and get the 30% defense buff on top of it from terrain. But yeah, uh, definitely a bit more of a slog than the previous time I fought him. So more than likely, I probably won't encounter him again because I'm already uh, I'm pretty sure I'm higher rank than him now. But he might catch up because I'm not going to be playing as much after uh, this sprint of uh, matches.